Torres really is a constellation of various procedures through the mouth and the head and neck region. And uh, the FDA approval is really a stamp of approval by our government um, that what we're doing is safe, effective, and is going to make a difference or is making a difference in our patients. At this point, interest is being expressed from academic institutions and cancer centers throughout the country to come to Penn to learn. It's really a paradigm shift in how we do head and neck cancer surgery. In the old days, in order to access areas in the back of the throat or the tonsil, that would take 12 to 14 hours, 7 to 10 days in the hospital, long-term tubes in the neck, and feeding tubes in the stomach for the patients, and TORS is totally different. The surgical procedure for TORS takes us about 45 minutes, and it's one to three days in the hospital, maybe, and our patients have no broken jaw bones, nothing. We work right through the mouth. These techniques are revolutionary in that they allow miniaturized tools to work in the mouth, and it's as if the surgeon's hands were miniaturized and working in the tight spaces of the throat. So robotic surgery is the perfect combination of minimally invasive surgery and outstanding outcomes. Development of TORS and our successful outcomes are because of the input of our multidisciplinary head and neck cancer team. We work together with our team comprehensively to provide the best combination of therapies, not just the surgical TORS. Probably the most exciting aspect of TORS from my perspective is when I see the patients in my clinic and I see how happy they are and how satisfied they are after these treatments. To me it's remarkable um, that a few years ago we were treating patients with very radical surgery or high intensity chemotherapy and radiation and so much of that can be avoided and so much of the suffering can be avoided in these patients. And our outcomes data are as good or better in terms of curing the tumor and they don't get the cuts, the cosmetic deformity, all aspects, chronic pain, they really have tremendously benefited in so many ways. The patients that are coming from around the country and internationally to take part in our clinical tours program benefit from our outstanding clinical care coordinators that help you navigate every step of your journey from arrival until going home healthy after your treatment. The patient uh, satisfaction, excitement, the way they have great outcomes, the, the, the smiles that they give us when they come into our, our clinics and how grateful they are is the ultimate uh, satisfaction. I woke up in the middle of the night with a cough and I couldn't go back to sleep and I thought it was kind of a strange onset of a cold. And I went into a walk-in clinic and that doctor saw something in my mouth and he said, you know, I need you to go see an ENT, an ear, nose and throat specialist. After that, they found that it wasn't cancerous, thank God, but that it was a tumor and where it was placed, it had to come out. And the procedure that they prescribed was that they were going to cut me from the base of my ear down to the middle of my throat, and do a tracheotomy, and then cut me from there to here, pull all of my teeth, break my jaw, and dig the tumor out because that was the standard procedure for this type of tumor. I've spent 30 years as a professional trainer and motivator and an executive coach and mentor to people, so my voice has been pretty much my career. So I explored my options. I immediately came home to Pennsylvania and began to search. My last visit was here at the University of Pennsylvania, where I had the great opportunity to meet Dr. O'Malley and Dr. Weinstein. I realized that, you know, you may not be able to use the robotic on me, but I want you to try. And if for some reason it doesn't work, then go with the other procedure, you know, because he knew how to do the same procedure as well. And so I was scheduled for the procedure. And I came in on a Friday, Saturday I was up and you know, sitting in the chair and they kept coming in and asking me are you having any pain and I'm like no no and I'm like it's got to come at some point in time I went home on that Monday and the second week I was able to eat everything that I had been eating and I never did experience any pain it was a fabulous procedure <laughs> I am what the, what the medical profession calls an NED. 
I am no evidence of disease. <laughs> I am tumor free. <laughs> Yay! I think one of the things that Taurus has done for us, which has been great, is it's allowed us to offer patients a different option for treatment of some of their cancers. And that in and of itself is, is uh, really quite an accomplishment. You know, we're getting great results with our patients. And even more importantly, even though we're, in some patients they're getting surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, their chances of having permanent swelling problems, I can say is a is zero right now. Well, this is a great step forward for Penn Medicine. Um, we've had a terrific program in head and neck cancer therapy and the ability to do robotic surgery, which minimizes the side effects for the patient and really add that to the armamentarium. Do it for the world because this is, we're celebrating the approval of the FDA of a technique that was invented here at Penn. Thank God that I ended up here, only two miles from my house, but yet it's uh, the best in the world technology and the doctors. You couldn't ask for better doctors and a better facility to uh, get a surgeon to keep you alive, basically. It's the best care in the United States. Originally was going to another hospital in and around Washington, D.C. At that time came up here and I should say too that the care that I received at the University of Pennsylvania was superb. And I thank God every day for Dr. Weinstein and also for Dr. Kwan because without them he may not be here today. Whole staff. I am a patient of Taurus. They are my heroes. I feel that I've not only prolonged my life but I've, but I've, got, I've taken the, the best possible path that I could have taken to, uh, to cure myself of cancer.